Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a special Hold Your Light reading. So this is to stay in higher frequencies and this reading actually was mentioned in the last reading that I used to do these. And if you have been on the Free Spirit channel, you'll remember uh, a few years ago, I was doing a lot of Hold Your Light readings. Um, so I was woken up this morning to literally do one again. So I might be doing these periodically again. This is to hold your light and to stay in a higher frequency so much so that it is in the header. Whatever the length of this video is, I'll look up the angel number message and I'll put it as the first pinned comment. Definitely release everything you are holding in your mind and heart. This is getting ready to receive love support backing to hold your light and stay in a higher frequency no matter what. And that is the purpose of these readings. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. We're going to tap into the Ascension deck. And so this is to literally hold your light. We're going to tap into the Angels of Light, what messages want to come forth. We're going to tap into the keepers of the light to support us we're going to tap into the archangel messages as they support you here in the physical to embody that we're going to end it with divine spirit messages which will be direct guidance for what just came out loved ones passed on our spirit guides our angels archangels and of course end it with pure love from spirit which i feel like this all is so let's just get ready to receive 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 it is so early in the morning i had to set up in a different area everybody is sleeping i literally was woken up to do this reading and oh my gosh look what just fell out okay this wanted to be seen the intergalactic council the intergalactic council of 12 great masters makes decisions for the highest good of the universe. This council includes Marco, Hilarion, Jesus, Ashtar, Kathami. Okay, so we'll go through all these. Lady Nada, saying or thinking their names raises your frequency. Now, okay, I'll say, I don't want to butcher their, all their names. I want you to read all their names here for yourself literally in the header this was to raise your frequency so they literally want you to understand that you have great masters surrounding you at this time and this council includes all these names Kuan Yin, Lady Nada some of these will leap out to you more than the other ones and if so you're probably getting more direct interaction with them um for myself, I know Lady Nada really speaks to me. In fact, if you're familiar with my channel years ago when the pandemic first started, and we started doing these readings, Lady Nada came out a lot. Um, it was very special. Uh, a shout out to um, Reva Nevermind. If you remember, we kept on getting Lady Nada, um, Kuan Yin, you know, and any of the other ones. When you mention, say, or think their names, you are raising your frequency. You're aligning with them. You're, you're actually affirming your closeness with them and that you, they're your divine partners here. So it is going to raise your frequency because at the same time, you're reminding yourself you're not alone in what you're truly connected with. So yes, definitely say or think these names, read this card to connect more fully. These are the 12 great masters that are connecting with you for the highest good of the universe. And just speaking or thinking their names or your alignment with them will raise your frequency. Recognize you are a multidimensional being. Connect with your deepest wisdom and focus on the well-being of the universe. And your guidance is to ask Universal Angel Butial to take you to the Intergalactic Council in meditation or sleep and offer to serve the universe. This will greatly expand your consciousness. So <clears throat> it does not escape me that I literally was woken up this morning to do this reading. Whatever guidance that you're receiving, I just want to say, if you wake up in the morning and you feel that you have just been given something to follow through on, definitely do it because in a way you are serving. Um, I just want to say this, this will greatly expand your consciousness. And the affirmation is, I visit the Intergalactic Council today. So you're probably visiting them and they're actually connecting with you in your sleep, um, in your waking hours. It could be when you are getting divine ideas, divine wisdom, that you are in touch with these, this council through your clairs. 
right? So not just your spirit guides and everything else, but even with the great masters, even with those that are here and are connecting with us to serve the universe. And so they use each one of us, like they always say, you're being divinely used. So whenever you get a divine impulse, you know it is because it's of serving, it's of love, it's of making something better. So if you get an an inspiration, which definitely means in spirit, you're being called to serve. They always say answer the call. So I guess that's what I'm getting is that they're going to give you the call and you are to follow through because in some way you're being divinely used to serve the universe. It's all for the highest good. But just speaking their names or feeling the connection with these great masters is already raising your frequency because you're connected to them over what's going on in the physical. And your guidance is to ask Universal Angel to take you to the council, right? To offer to serve the universe. And this is going to greatly expand your consciousness. So that is the number one thing. And literally what they said in the header, this whole point of this reading was to raise your frequency. So what they're telling you is this is your divine connection, even while you're here. Um, and so that flipped out even before I got started. So no doubt underscoring this is to raise your frequency, to know what you're divinely connected to here. And through you, you're you're being used as a divine channel in many different ways. So every little inspiration, it could be big and small. People think it, it doesn't even have to be some grandiose, huge thing. But if you get an inkling to reach out to someone, call someone, do this, work on this, um, you know, you just follow through because in some way it's a channel of serving the universe in the highest good in some way. And they're definitely connecting to you in your waking hours. It could be a thought that you didn't generate that just plops in in your sleep. You just wake up and you know what to do. You know, just like yesterday, if you asked me if I was doing this, I would not. <laughs> right. So, <clears throat> But they're saying this is greatly extending your consciousness, just understanding what you're connected to and that you're here serving the universe. It's getting, it, it's staying connected to that frequency. So yeah, they have a lot to say. That's why I'm doing this reading. Okay, so we have two more cards about this. We have Pallas Athena and Archangel Metatron. Wow, I have chills because a lot of us are so connected to Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. It's unbelievable. So Pallas Athena, let's do this one first. It says Pallas Athena is known as the goddess of truth and wisdom, and she is Lord of Karma for the fourth ray and holds the sword of truth to show humanity the way to show humanity the way. So talk about hold your light and how you're serving the highest good and your connection to the divine um, the, and the council and everything because you are actually helping to show humanity the way with the sword of truth. You hold the sword of truth. So it's hold your light and hold the sword of truth to show humanity the way. And although she wields her sword for the highest ideals and divine truth, she prefers to use wisdom to settle disputes. I feel a very high priestessy energy with this, right? So you're coming from the sword of truth to show humanity the way. Even though you wield a sword for the highest ideals and divine truth, you prefer to use wisdom to settle disputes. Your guidance is to follow her example. See the higher perspective in all areas of conflict. Draw on your abundance of wisdom and tact to communicate with everyone concerned and use the sword of truth to point the divine way forward. And the affirmation is I use the sword of truth to lead the way. You use the sword of truth to use, to yes, lead the way. And you'll find well, what's distracting me is that when we look around and we see the chaos, the fighting, the wars and everything, it seems so archaic, right? If you're resonating and been finding these videos, you, you feel like that is very archaic. Like, haven't we evolved past that yet? And they're saying yes, because you are aligned to using the sword of truth to settle disputes, wisdom to settle disputes. They want you to follow that absolutely when you're of a higher vibration. You have a higher perspective, right? Even in conflict, you draw on wisdom and tact to communicate with everyone. You use the sword of truth to point to the divine way forward. It's you're using the sword of truth to lead the way. This is your alignment and this is your frequency. They want you to hold a higher frequency. And this is Archangel Metatron. You are blessed to receive this card for the mighty universal angel Metatron, who is coordinating the ascension of the planet, is touching you. 
is touching you. So they want you to know this. This is how you hold your light and stay in higher frequency. Know what you're connected to. You're blessed to receive this card for the mighty universal angel Metatron who is conducting and coordinating the ascension of the planet is touching you. You who's watching, you would not have found this even video if you weren't on the same frequency. So they are speaking to you. So there's something like really uh, drink this in, right? Um, he is illuminating your aura with his golden orange light. Make no mistake, they had me put this light here. This isn't even my light. It's someone I live with uh, has this light. But look, he's illuminating your aura with this golden orange light as he works with your stellar gateway chakra. So you're even more highly connected. So you're staying in this frequency, that you're staying in connection and communication with them. You're going to hold your light, no matter how crazy chaotic it is. This is the blessing. They are working with you. This is very important that you understand. So this is why you're, you're able to hold your light, your connection, your communication with them, that this is what you're connected to and they're helping you through this time. He is touching you. He is illuminating your aura with his golden orange light as he works with your stellar gateway chakra. Your message is to relax and allow Metatron's wings to enfold you and ask to visit him at his ascension retreat in Luxor during meditation or sleep so that you can receive his guidance. I just want to say, even in your waking hours, feel your connection. You'll be getting a lot of love support backing. Um, I, I, I just want to say that this may come as a thought. Yeah, it, the next word, this may come as a thought, a whisper, or a feeling. It's going to be made, to, made known to you in your waking and sleeping hours. Like they said, a thought that you didn't generate, a whisper, signs, symbols, messages, a feeling, that wave of love, support. It's Metatron. Um, so anything that comes in through a thought, a whisper, or feeling, you're receiving his guidance. And when you ask sincerely for help, now, this just came out on the last very reading on this channel. They said, ask for guidance whenever you need. Whatever you ask, you are answered. And watch what you receive. Because the, you're on this higher frequency. You're connected to them all the time. Do not, uh, you know, like, do not underestimate that. If you leave an opening, you will receive. It says, when you ask sincerely for help on your ascension journey, Metatron will open new doors for you and guide you. And the affirmation is, I attune to Archangel Metatron today. You are not here alone. <clears throat> As you hold your light and stay in higher frequencies, they're communicating with you. They're guiding you here. The, literally using the sword of truth to point the divine way forward. That's what you're using as you're going forward. And here, I mean, they're really supporting you and they're expanding your consciousness so you feel this love support backing and receive the guidance along the way. But also a reminder to hold your light and remind yourself of what you're truly connected to will enable you to keep holding your light and stay in a higher frequency. And that's what the number one card was literally, literally said, um, and just feeling the connection with them raises your frequency, right? How you're being used here to serve and use the sword of truth, of wisdom is going to be the way. And here also they are guiding you. He is touching you. You're getting thoughts, feelings, symbols, whispers, feelings, thoughts, the love support backing from here. This is a blessing. They're opening doors. They're guiding you through to feel that connection. We're going to tap into the angels of light now. The Archangel Michael, who is coordinating the ascension of the planet, is touching you, right? He's illuminating you. He's communicating with you. He wants you to relax and receive all the guidance. It can come in a thought, a whisper, a feeling. And when you ask sincerely, they open new doors and they guide you. So the number one card of angels of light is surrender. Just when they made me reread this, when they said, relax, relax, relax. So surrender. Whenever you resist in life, persists. Whatever you resist in life persists. Ask your angels to help you dissolve all the resistance of your ego Yes, and the inner conflict and struggle, the rigid mind sets and habits so that they can flood your life with higher truth and joy. And when you surrender to the guidance of your higher self, all the energy you've, you have been using in resistance becomes available to you. Vitality, inner peace, harmony, and most of all, love. 
are your spiritual rewards. So flow with the pace of life, relax and tune in, then follow the guidance. And this just says you're receiving the guidance. So relax and receive the guidance. So flow with the pace of life, relax and tune in, then follow the guidance of your intuition, knowing that the angels will support you at all times. The angels are supporting you at all times. This is what they want to communicate as you hold your light, hold a higher, stay connected with higher frequency, and then they're guiding you. But this is all to know that the angels will support you at all times, right? Follow the guidance of your intuition, knowing that the angels will support you at all times. There is something about this. They want you to know you're supported at all times. There's something that happens to our light when we feel that we are not supported at all times. They're underscoring your connection, how they're communicating with you, how they are, how you're receiving guidance every time you need, and to know in your heart, mind, and soul that the angels will support you at all times. The affirmation is, I surrender to the flow of life. Whenever when we get knocked out, it's to surrender back to the flow of life and know that this is supporting you. The angels are supporting you at all times. This that I mentioned is supporting you here at all times. This is why they're saying, hold your light. Like, don't get thrown. This is what they're saying. So we're going to tap into the keepers of the light. So how do they help you stay in the flow of life and truly know what you're connected and what you're receiving communication and guidance from and that they're supporting you at all times to, to hold that. Surrender all else, literally, that dims your light or dims your feeling of connection to this, right? Because there's something here. They're like, follow the guidance, relax. Relax, relax, relax. Just remind yourself to flow with the pace of life. Relax and tune in to this and follow the guidance of your intuition, knowing that the angels support you at all times. That is what they're saying. So let's get the angels of light that will support this as we're here. Yeah, it's landing on Metatron. Metatron is really coming through, telling that they're guiding you and that they are working with you. And they, they are, every time you relax and allow them to unfold you and give you guidance they're opening new doors every time you sincerely ask for help you will receive it's landing right here on metatron and we're getting master jesus you cannot make this up this is all divine love that we're connected to over and over it is master jesus i always say he's us right master jesus because jays are often silent in, in different languages master jesus forgiveness you are on the path of light love and forgiveness father healing further healing is possible at this time you are on the path of light love and forgiveness they want you to know what you're connected to and you are on the path and what you're doing here is the epitome of what you know the story of jesus coming here about love the highest love forgiveness opening up the heart speaking the truth um Every when you're aligned to this, this is what they're saying the energy that it is. I mean, you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness, and further healing is possible at this time. That's why they're working with you. But they're also, this is the energy that, that you're connected with here. This is why they're surrender. Know that these angels will support you at all times. That quite literally, they're affirming also you here. Surrender what you're putting in your heart because you are on the path of light and love. Um, and you're aligned with this energy. It's the only card that came out. It's aligned with divine love. Um, so surrender anything else that you're putting in your mind and heart. That's what they want you to hold. Um, forgiveness and surrender are such cinnamon, similar terms. Um, to remember what you're connected with here and to know that uh, you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. No matter what you tell yourself, that's what they're saying to you at this time. Otherwise, you wouldn't be even connecting to this, right? Okay, so we're going to get the archangel messages now to, to support this. But that we got Master Jesus. And it doesn't matter what religion you are, the Jesus is the, when you talk Christ-like, Jesus-like, um, this is all divine love. And um, you, they're affirming that you are on the path of love and light and forgiveness. And there, there's a lot of healing going on at this time. And just like they said, you're being, your light is being used to serve at this time. And Metatron, this is all 
universal healing that's happening right now. And so they're definitely communicating with you through this time. And that's why you holding your light is so important, no matter what else is going on at this time, to know that you're on the path of love and light and forgiveness. It's all landing. I knew it. But didn't I say you're either really resonating with Archangel Metatron and Michael. And look, we got Michael and it landed on Metatron. You're going to have a very deep connection with Metatron and Michael at, at for many years. Not just recently, but for many years. We're getting Archangel Michael and he is saying, stand in your power and be true to yourself. See the sword? They said that you're using the sword of truth. They are supporting you to be in your power here because you are aligned to the higher frequencies, right? You're serving them the higher frequencies in some way in your day-to-day. -day. Um, and so that's why they're saying that you hold this. They want you to literally hold the sword of truth, sword of truth. Um, and it's leading with wisdom. It's leading with love and compassion. It's leading with uh, higher frequencies here. But they're saying, Archangel Michael, they are helping you literally to stand in your power and be true to yourself. And that's what they're enabling you to do because you're like kind of like the outpouring here and the big and the smaller, how you're being used or how you're answering the call with what you're getting mm -hmm. and holding this vibration and this higher frequencies here. So that's Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael you're going to find will come out for you a lot. You're going to feel their energies a lot besides the loved ones passed on, your spirit guides. It is an Archangel Metatron and Michael and also Jesus and uh all the higher frequency of love, you're going to feel very connected to at this time, especially if they're saying hold your light and hold your higher frequency, stay in the higher frequencies. Um, that is what you're communicating with. Those are the ones that are guiding you at this time. Those are the ones that are feeding you the inspiration of what to do. And you're the outpouring here. Or no matter what is happening, how they're telling you to get surrender everything and just come back from truth, love, um, and your connection with them and relax into the pace of life. And this to know that the angels support you all the time is something that they're going to bring through. I mean, look at this posse. I always call it like your posse, your rah-rah section. I call them they. I don't even think it's one thing, one person. It's like you, everybody has a posse. So believe me, they are supporting you all the time, all the time. It's amazing what will come through for you. Um, like they said, every time you ask sincerely, it will come in for you and they use everything. Like, just like how I reach for a reading or you might reach for a reading, you might meditate, you might lose yourself in nature. You might see signs, symbols, messages. You might get a divine idea, divine wisdom, an aha moment all the time. I mean, and it's all for the greater good. Um, but you're definitely connected. Let's end it with divine spirit messages to bring this home, what they want to say as we're here to hold our light and stay in higher frequencies. What a beautiful reading. I'm so glad they woke me up. I'll be tired today, but this was, I'll be running on something else. I'll be running on something else. Yeah, I knew. Archangel Metatron, it landed. This is going to be very important. Your guidance, and this has come out a gazillion times. I have chills and waves when I say this. It landed on Archangel Metatron. Remember when they said, when you sincerely ask, they will guide you. They will always open doors and guide you. You sincerely ask for help, they'll guide you in a whisper, in a thought, in a feeling. Go within for the answers now. Your answers do not come from the outside. They're coming from higher frequencies. So that's why they always tell us to go within for the answers now. That's why we always get like the high priestess at work. You're going within for the answers. That's where your wisdom, the, the sword of truth, the greater wisdom that you're using in your life on a higher frequency is coming from them. Like they said, in a thought, a whisper, a feeling, Metatron will open new doors, will guide you. Whenever you ask sincerely for help, whenever you ask sincerely for help on your journey, Metatron will open new doors and will guide you. And we had it again. Remember when they said surrender, the angels support you at all times. I'm telling you, there's something, it is a complete surrender. It's a complete knowing because they will over and over, you'll get such spiritual evidence that you 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 know this to be true for yourself you can almost you know that um image of someone falling back and trusting that someone will catch you you can surrender and know this truth because they will come through every time you need it is such a divine safety net it's like a divine safety net right it is i don't want to cover archangel michael it's a divine safety net 
I felt when I made this deck, the Divine Spirit, it was uh, Archangel Michael type energy. It's just amazing how it's now aligned with that. It's, um, okay, we're going to end it with pure love from spirit. Pure love from spirit to end this reading, to hold your light and stay in higher frequencies. That's literally what this reading was for. And wow, what support to stay in higher frequencies, no matter what. What's the pure love from spirit that they want to bring forth? And they hit the light. Oh, gosh, I'm going to cry. I'm going to have to end this reading. That one card out of the whole deck is we are here for you through this. That is what they want you to know. And I have chills running up and down my entire body. We are here for you through this. We, this, every single card, this whole posse, this, your spirit guides, loved ones, archangels, my, Metatron, Michael, all the angels, everything that I, every, this whole thing we are here for you through this. We are here for you through this. This was to hold your light and to stay in higher frequencies. You cannot make this up. I wish you the best. And yes, this is the end of the reading because that just blew me away. This just blew me away. This was love. This was definitely love support backing to hold your light and stay in higher frequencies. Whenever, whenever you need, you can watch this again. Take care. Bye-bye.